the Oxford Mr. C scoring system which is being used in IGN Nephropathy. These are the videos that I am making as a part of preparation for my DM exam just to revise the final moment. So in this video we will see just about the Mr. C scoring system only and a few images. Initially this Mr. Scoring system was introduced in 2009 as a part of scoring system for histopathological images of IgA nephropathy patient but that was modified in 2016 by adding a another important parameter which is the presence of presence which is also forming an important prognostic marker there are four parameters which are taken into consideration in this M is messenger hypercellularity, endocapillary hypercellularity, segmental sclerosis, IFTA otherwise the interstitial fibrosis and the tubular atrophy and the presence of presence we will go into the scoring first regarding the messenger hypercellularity. What is this? It is nothing but the presence of more than four messangial cells in any messangial area of a glomeruli. So, score of zero is being given if it is present in less than 50 percentage of the glomeruli, and one is being given if it is more than 50 percentage of the glomeruli. So, the next parameter is the endocapillary hypercellularity. It is nothing but the increase in the number of cells inside the lumina. In case in the any inflammatory cell inside the lumina is the endocapillary hypercellularity. Score of zero if it is absent, present score is given one. So the, the third parameter is the presence of segmental glomerulosclerosis. It is dependent on the adjacent of sclerosis not involved with the entire glomeruli. It have to be patchy. That is the segmental glomerulosclerosis. Score of zero if it is absent, one if it is a presence of any segmental glomerulosclerosis. So next regarding the IFTA, it is the percentage of tubular atrophy interstitial fibrosis of the cortical area. Out of the seen cortical area, how much it is being atrophied? 0 if it is less than 25, T2 if it is more than 25, and T1 25 to 50. And the last parameter which was recently introduced in 2016 is the presence of cellular or fibrocellular present, not the fibrous present. So they have taken the presence of cellular or the fibrocellular present. What is this? This is the extra capillary cell proliferation also called the parietal epithelial cells more than two cell layers thick and it have to be less than 50 percentage of the matrix zero is absent score of zero is given one percent in less than 25 percentage of the glomeruli more than 25 percentage is c2 score so another important parameter to notice at least eight glomeruli have to be ideally seen to adequately report this must see score so remember the number as 8 8 glomeruli is required to adequately report for the must see scoring system so we will see few histopathological images of the scoring which are related to this for IgN nephropathy diagnosis even though clinical symptom and the age group which is most common in the second to third decade even all the clinical parameters of suggestive of IgN nephropathy acne biopsy is compulsory to make the diagnosis it might sometimes occur along with the MCD at that time light microscopy finding may be normal in the light microscopy the important finding is the diffuse mesangial expansion so coming to the Mr. C score comparison here is M0 because there is no mesangial hypercellularity here meta mesangial matrix expansion along with cellular expansion also score of M1 and M0 Next is regarding the endocapillary hypocellularity. Here you can see the endocapillary hypocellularity, which is nothing but the presence of inflammatory cells inside the capillary lumina. So score of E1, E0. Third is regarding the segmental sclerosis. And one point regarding the mesangial expansion is it is better seen with fast stain. The mesangial expansion is better seen with fast stain than the methane silver amine stain. For the segmental sclerosis, mesian trichome, methane amine silver, or fast methane amine is used to better delineate this segmental sclerosis and finally to show the presence this is the proliferation of the parietal epithelial cells more than two layer here also presence of the present this is the another light microscopy picture to hold the to show the increase in mesangial cells that is more than four mesangial cells as per the definition and the mist score another image to show the presence of present and the endocapillary proliferation also with the mesangial hypercellularity. Other important finding which can see in the light microscopy that tubules might contain uh, RBC cells. Coming to the immunofluorescence finding, 
this is the characteristic finding of IgA nephropathy that the diffuse granular messenger staining of IgA other other important points in IgA nephropathy are there might be dominant sorry there should be dominant or co-dominant IgA deposits the IgA is of predominantly IgA1 IgG and IgM can also be seen in up to 30 percentage of the cases but staining will be less than IgA C3 deposit might be seen in up to 90 percentage of the cases rarely C1Q and C4 deposit can also be seen light chain more of lambda is deposition is seen these are all the important findings sometimes IgA deposits might be seen in the capillary loop also in the capillary loop if it is present it is associated with poor prognosis so to complete the histopathology the EM finding might be electron dense deposit in the mesangial area as electron dense deposit correspond to the immune complex deposits the pathology and the pathogenesis we will see in uh, other video as a part of IgA nephropathy series sometimes the uh, electron dense deposits might be seen in the paramesangial area also what is the paramesangial area it is nothing but the area where mesangium gets in contact with the basement membrane so what are the demerits so it is basically a semi-quantitative classification of the histopathological finding which will give you an idea about the uh, what is the actual pathological finding it is not a scoring system the prognosis doesn't depend on the scoring it just give you overall idea about the prognosis m1 m s t and c if it is more associated with the poor prognosis and what are the other demerits it doesn't take into consideration two important parameters which is the presence of glomerulosclerosis presence of necrotizing lesion which might indicate the vasculitis phenomena and also it can just give an insight into the biopathology uh, finding it won't give a scoring or exact prognosis let me explain for example there is one kidney biopsy with 10 glomeruli in that two segments of glomerulosclerosis are there there is another uh, biopsy which is having 40 glomeruli with the three segmental sclerosis so this suppose if we take the score grossly it might appear having more glomerulosclerosis but this is actually more if we take the number of glomeruli so the biopsy report have to be interpreted as per the number of glomeruli and along with the clinical parameters so that's how it helps in the prognosis the poor prognosis fact other poor prognosis factors in the clinical picture like presence of more, more proteinuria more than one gram presence of hypertension other clinical parameters like obesity smoking those are all the poor prognostic marker along with the risk have to be correlated so rest we will see in another video this is all regarding best score